in my Saturday post, I went out and said, hey, here's everything that we've done in the last month of January. And I included the new layout containers. They weren't released in January. They were released in November, if I remember correctly. But they are trans transformational in the way that you actually can go out and lay out and create your applications. Brian Day, who I mentioned earlier, does a great job of actually having lots of different samples where he actually calculates this with math. So you have to figure out the offset from the upper left and the, and the right, and you have to go out and do your padding. And it can get quite, quite complicated. So what most people end up doing is making them static. I know I fall victim to that rather than actually going out and do the math to making it static. So let's go ahead and show what am I talking about. First of all, you'll see that there are two different layouts. And I'm going to show this in a second. I'm going to show how to get started with this. But there's a columnar layout. And there's a row level, and this is actually called horizontal in the UI, but this is the actual setting underneath of the covers that I'm grabbing. So I'm just toggling this. And now what I can do is, let's just say it sits a row, but the wrapping, and again, I'm gonna show this in the UI, is set to false. If I actually set the wrap to true, you'll see that this is now flowing down in like a serpentine automatically. I, I'm not doing anything. All I'm doing is setting one property to true. We'll look at the code in a second. And now this, you'll actually see that I don't have a scroll bar at the bottom. And that's because I haven't set this since I run it. This, this variable is just uninitialized, so it's set to false. Now when I hit this, actually it sees, maybe I got my horizontal and vertical mixed up. Yeah, maybe, I'll have to take a look at the code. And I now have a scroll bar because that I actually set this to, oh, there we go. No, I actually have the correct one. Okay, so here we go. I, I was gonna say that doesn't look right. That's not horizontal. So let's go ahead and set this up. So the vertical, since it's flowing down, when I set this to auto, I can actually go out and scroll up and down. If I show it to hidden, I can't, right? Same thing here. Now, when I actually set this to auto, I don't get a scroll bar here. And the reason I don't have a scroll bar here is because it's flowing it down. If I actually set it to columnar and actually go ahead and set this to not hidden, you can actually see I now have a scroll bar at the bottom. So those are the big four properties that you're gonna to wanna to learn and play with and get to know. How do you create this or how do you get started? So what I've done is I actually have an empty one. There's no containers whatsoever in here. And what we're gonna do is go to the plus sign and under layout, and you'll actually see that I have this horizontal and vertical. It doesn't really matter which one, which one you choose because what you can do is you can toggle it to the other one by going out and, and setting it right here. Now let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. And what I'm gonna do is, because there's actually a couple glitches with this, I don't know if, Daniel, you've run into this, but what we're gonna do is go into charts and we're gonna go out and play with the, the control that Daniel's gonna play with for a little while. And um, he's gonna walk into the, the workspaces quite a bit more than me and he's gonna go into these properties in depth. So I'm not gonna bother doing that. I'm just gonna set it so that way we have something to look at. Um, this is fine. Okay. And I wanna resize this so it actually it looks a little bit smaller. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Now this control is outside of this container. Right? They're, they're not inside of it. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put it inside of that container. I'm gonna do that by going into the, the layout view itself, and I'm gonna go out, click on the container, and hit plus, or I hit control V. Now, you'll notice I actually can't grab this. I can't resize it. I can't even copy it from within the container. Some of them work. I think the button actually will let me do that. Nope. It won't even do that. So I actually want multiples of these. What I have to do is I have to go into this layout view itself and paste a couple of these. And you'll notice that since we're actually in a low row layout, it actually went ahead and put those over here. If I go out and uh, change that to, let's just say that I've turned the wrap on, you can now see it's actually put it back in serpentine. And this is that button that's in the middle of there. If I can go ahead and Turn my overflow on. I don't have enough of those to actually need overflow. Let's go ahead and paste a couple of more of these in here. Oh, it's not what I want. I must have hit F12. It's kind of a an automatic response for me. There we go. Um, if I get enough of these, I can actually go ahead and, and set those overflows on. So again, this started with the layout controls. And if you want to interact with them, 
you will want to actually do out, go out and take a look at the layout view itself, so that way you can actually grab these, because you cannot grab them inside the containers, you cannot resize those. We're going to hand it to Daniel next, because Daniel's going to show you how to take these controls, which are static in this environment, and make them refreshable. Thank you.